Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to set up custom permalink structure in WordPress uh, because uh, this is the issue that users experience uh, from time to time and I experienced that issue as well. So uh, let's just go through the steps that you need to finish in order to get working permalinks in WordPress. So first of all, uh, let's change directory to our WordPress location. Uh, in my case, this is war www. Uh, usually this is the default Apache directory. And here uh, there are other directories. In particular, my WordPress file, uh, my WordPress site is located in this directory wptest.com. So let's change uh, location to this directory where your actual WordPress files are stayed. So uh, this is it. And uh, first of all, let's get listing ls-la to see if we already have HT access file. You can see I already have HT access file, uh, which is great. Uh, so this is one requirements for one of the requirements for permalinks. Uh, you need to have your HT access and it should be writable by uh, Apache uh, server. So Apache server is running under this user www.data and you can see so this is the owner of that particular file. But let's I will just remove it first so that I will show you how to do it from scratch. And let's get listing again so you will see that I don't have any HT access from the beginning. And let's create it first. Uh, we can do it even using sudo and then touch. Touch just creates an empty file. HT access. If you have your file already, you don't need to create it again. So I will create it here and press enter. Let's get listening. So you can see I've just created a new file and you need to change the, per, the ownership of that file so that owner will be Apache so that it can modify that file. I write some settings to it. So let's do it. Type in sudo change own www-data.htaccess press enter let's get listing again and you can see that the owner of that file now is apache and also make sure that the owner has read and write permissions uh, to change the permissions you can use this command sudo change mode and then uh, for example 660 would be okay and then the file name ht access press enter so we've just uh, created written write permissions for the owner and for the group so i will show you listing again so this is the permissions for the owner written write and these permissions for the group uh, also read and write so now we have our ht access in the root uh, directory of wordpress uh, which is good and now let's open our terminal uh, our browser and let's open the wordpress admin page type in uh, your url of your wordpress website and then wp-admin press enter and we will go to admin and then open settings down to permalinks click on it and here you see I have my permalinks as default and let's try to change it uh, to some uh, better format uh, for example the second one and then click save changes so you see permalink, st permalink structure updated I will scroll it down to show there is no warning no error That's because our HT access file is writable by the server and you can check uh, the content of the file by using for example nano type in nano file name uh, 
uh, this is permission denied because <laughs> we didn't allow anyone else to open that except uh, the uh, Apache so let's use sudo sudo nano ht access and here you can see that Apache has written this information into that file which is great uh, so now we have our custom HD access and if I will try to open the main page and then we'll click on the first post uh, you can see that the link has changed to the new format but you will see there is an error uh, not found so this is okay and uh, we need to still uh, customize some settings in Apache so let's do that uh, let's go back to the terminal I will change directory to home page home folder we'll clear screen and the next thing that you need to do is to open your virtual host configuration file uh, using sudo nano and then at C Apache sites available and then here I have three different configurations and uh, the one that is used for my WordPress site is this uh, wtest.conf uh, so let's open it up and here you need to add some information in particular uh, directory tag that type in less than sign directory space and then uh, parameter uh, which is path to your uh, WordPress uh, root directory on the file system close the tag by typing greater than sign and here type in allow override space all uh, this will allow uh, to override settings uh, in there uh, to override settings of Apache by HD access file uh, so that your WordPress will use custom settings which are defined in HD access file by default Apache is not using that settings that is why you can see uh, not found error so now we are using our HD access file as uh, the main one because we overwrite it. Uh, then close the tag by typing less than sign slash directory greater than sign close and save this file. Uh, and last thing that we need to do is to enable one particular module in Apache. Type in sudo a2n mod and then the module name is rewrite press enter uh, the module has been enabled and let's restart apache sudo and then uh, this command service apache restart press enter the service has been restarted and now we can refresh the page and you will see that our permalinks are working great uh, this is the new URLs uh, so the three steps that you need to accomplish the first the first one is HT access make sure it is uh, that the owner is www-data and also change mod to 660 this is the first thing uh, the second thing uh, you need to add allow override all uh, to your uh, configuration file uh, to your virtual host configuration and the last thing uh, you need to enable mode a to n mode rewrite so this is three steps that you need to do 
in order to get your permalink structure to work. That's it and thanks for watching.